Hello one and all and welcome back to another exciting episode of Unbox My Geek where we unbox geeky stuff and today we're back with The Wizarding Trunk. The Wizarding Trunk is a US based company, they do Harry Potter stuff and have we all heard about the new Harry Potter um, series coming out on HBO Max, soon to be just Max? What do we think? Are we a bit like that's our childhood, don't take that away from us or are we like actually those first movies could be vastly improved and we would get more of the books, not read the books, if um, it was in a series, let me know. Uh, I'm on the fence about it at the moment. Feel a little bit threatened because that is my childhood and also feel a little bit excited because I do like the story and would like to know more um, without actually having to read the books. There we go. So we are here with a box that is old. I think I said that I had four boxes. I don't know which order they're in and I think this might be All Hallows Eve. I don't know, could be making that up. Uh, it has a black cat on the front, which leads me to believe it is all Hallows Eve. Uh, these are about £85-95 pounds delivered, um, depending on the inter the exchange rate on the day. Um, and this is the Owry, which I think is um, the cheaper one. Um, so this is probably like your £85 pound one, $85, which is £72. Pounds. And um, the high security vault, which I have one high security vault, is the quarterly. So these are bi-monthly, so every two months, and that is uh, quarterly. Um, and I think that's where I'm at with that. Um, I've said that really fast. Wow, one minute and 30 seconds. That's not bad. Um, so, uh, the, yeah, I think it's All Hallows Eve. I, I, I could be totally making that up, but I think it's All Hallows Eve. Who doesn't want a bit of All Hallows Eve in April? Let's say it is. I don't know if it is. <laughs> right. So, I have a rating system for everything in here, um, and that is the Holy Grail, which is an awesome item. I love it. Up for sale, which is a cool item, but it's not for me. Includes gifting, and then Absolute Fail, which is a terrible item. I'm doing it quickly because I have said before that I sometimes record these in batches. So, I have um, this is um, I, I, this is my second wisdom chunk, so um, I'm trying to. Yeah. So. These are blind unboxings, and I don't know what's in them, and you don't know what's in them. So as I said, we've got a black cat on there. It says Fragile Magical Delivery and No More Bloody Owls. Then it's got Wolfsbane, which also leads me to believe that it might be All Hallows Eve. And then uh, I Shall Not Tell Lies. Although that being said, it says Up To No Good, and it's got the Tower um, Tarot card. I do think some of all of the Aori boxes might say that on. But I could be making that up. I think you get about 15 items. I could also be making that up. So this is the third t-shirt. We haven't had t-shirts before, but this is obviously a thing. This is not, this is not all Hallows Eve. This is the groundskeeper and the keys. I think. Because that says groundskeeper's, oh, groundskeeper's assistant. Very cool. I like that. And then has the design on the back that's very cool I do I'm liking these t-shirts I am liking these t-shirts um, they're fun I have said they remind me of the star photos but actually there's something a little bit more charming about them because they're kind of like student t-shirts if you were in a club or helped out at school so uh, they've gone for a different angle and I'm liking it. I'm liking it lots of boxes not so much packaging Small or big, small or big. That looks like Mad Eye Moody's eye. <laughs> I don't know what else to tell you. Dr. Grendel's Enchanted Prosthetics. Polystyrene. Wow. <laughs> wow. I mean, that is what that is. Okay, <laughs> so you stick it on a door and um, it's not Mad Eye Moody, is it? Isn't it? Isn't there an eyeball on her door, on Umbridge's door at the Ministry? Am I making that up? Is this Professor's? This might be Professor's. I have no idea what book this, box this is. I will put it down on the thing. And it follows you round. So it's quite cool. It's a bit weird. I'm not sure I'm going to be putting it on my door. I feel like it... That, 
if it was just a glass eye inside it might look a bit more like an eye than uh, a, a badly painted doorknob i don't know not my favorite item might be an up for sale because i'm sure somebody will absolutely love that um just not oh polystyrene um i just am not sure that's my cup of tea. Um, you can't get you can't please everyone all the time i'm still a huge whizzing chunk fan this feels like maybe a potion i think their potions when we come in just normal boxes because the fun is inside Ooh. ew <laughs> puffer fish eyes humanely harvested oh, i'm not quite sure how you humanely harvest puffer fish eyes can you see them i thought they were scales to start with but they're literally they're puffer fish eyes do you shake do we shake do we shake i don't know are we supposed to shake i think maybe you are supposed to shake maybe you're not supposed to shake because it's a little bit glittery anyway that's pretty grim but that's a holy grail because i do like their um, potions um what else have we got here Ooh, mysterious thoughts more polystyrene what this what the box is Ooh. have I built the suspense it's a centaur don't focus on my face Sorry guys, I don't think it's going to focus. There we go. It's a centaur. And it says, Mars is bright tonight. So that's a holy grail. I really like that. I don't know the significance of it, but I do like that. Ooh, another mystery box. I mean, they're all mystery boxes, really. So I don't know what's in any of them. Hmm. Ogden, September 1925. So it's... Um, a memory file and it is glass it says Ogden 1925 I don't know if you can see can you see the shimmery blue is it shimmery blue that's very cool that's a holy grail as well I'm not going to put that on the edge because that's only going to end one way that's badly Sure. I still don't know what this is. I still don't know what this is. This feels like a plate. Please don't be one of those cat plates. It's one of those cat plates. I understand, but I hate these. God, they're awful. They're awful. If that was a black cat, I know someone who I could give this to. It's a bit random because it's not. <laughs> it's like the only thing in the frame. It's the only thing that you have to focus on. Yeah, I mean, 
is just hideous. That is a definite up for sale. It's not even going on my display. I just hate those. Oh, I think we've got a book cover. I just don't know where I am with these book covers because they've done like loads of them. And if you don't have the books, which I don't, I kind of just don't really know what to do with them. They are cool though. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying they're not cool because they are very cool. So we have The History of Magic. And actually that's a really small book, so I might be able to find a book that would actually go on. I mean, the designs on these are awesome. That's such a small book. Like, it's got all of the foiling on it. That's very cool. And then it's come with something else. Mappa Stellarum. Okay, I'm a fan of that. That is a holy grail. So it's uh, the constellation. I'm a, I'm a fan of that. That's a, that's a that's a holy grail. Um, I'm running out of places to put box. Another box. Let's not do another box. Let's do oh a pin badge. Do we think is that meant to be McGonagall? I do. I am loving these portrait badges. Holy Grail. Let's go for another small. This has got to be groundskeeper or something. It's got to be to do with the grounds. Dueling champion. Yes, I am. Why is this not focusing today? That's very cool. Another Holy Grail because I'm a sucker for pin badges. And I think, other than our paper products, we've just got one more box left, which is a black box. Well, it's more of a greeny box, really. What the hell is that? So, it is the hourglass from Slughorn's office. Now, I already have a replica of that right there and it's tiny and I often am a fan of the um, wizarding trunk replicas so I've got the Tom Riddle grave thing there which wasn't from, that was from Geek Gear but the one we got from Wizarding Chunk, I mean, just blew it out of the water. It was bigger, you know. But I'm not sure. I'm. If it's, I don't know if this is more accurate to the book slash films. But I kind of prefer the one that I've got. That's not to say I don't like it. But um, so it is a holy grail because I do like it. Um, but I think the small one is kind of. I don't know, I feel like I prefer that. That's a bit not as ornate. That mine is more, I'm not touching it because it's very dusty. Um, it's like more silvery. It's not gonna bloody focus anyway, is it? Um, it'll focus on the dust. When you have so many things in your room, like how are you meant to keep on top of things? You know? See, it's more silvery, more ornate. So, I kind of feel like I might prefer that one, but anyway. Okay, so we're on to paper products, but there is another box here. But I'm, what I'm going to do is the paper products first. Because we, and then end with a box. We never end with a box. So, we have two pages from our book. And that is Unicorn. And Unte, Unte, Unte. Tea, obviously, and then we have a mer person and a manticore. I did say in my previous video I thought they were adding in an additional one because one had got damaged, so that might be, but again, we'll find out from the chart. 
we have a postcard for a small fee a school cupid will sing to your valentine when delivering and then it says be mine i'm very confused what the um theme of this is and then this is a very nice stylish looking box which says unlocking magic is it a key it is a key oh that is beautiful you know i just <laughs> i just am in love with their keys why am i so in love with their keys so this doesn't feel quite as heavy as some of the others, but that doesn't really detract from it. Um, it's a restricted, restricted section. It's really annoying if it won't focus. There we go. So it says restriction section on it, and you can see the teeth of books, and there are little holes in the books. I mean, it's just amazing. That is a holy grail all day long. Oh, is that a little lantern? A little lantern. I have a thing for these keys pin badges and keys have a problem okay we're definitely going to need this it is professors it's professors it's professors obviously obviously right the history of magic book cover the book this book by eliphas levi was written in 1913 and will fit the third hardback uk edition book don't have that the centaur statue which is here the centaur um, this statue depicts one of the creatures that have mastered the art of divination. The kitten plate. I'm not giving it any more airtime. Imagine sitting down to complete your lesson plan and enjoying a cup of tea while this sicken sickeningly cute cat decided to settle in for a nap. Ooh. Creature page. This creature page is torn right out of the book of magical creatures A to Z. Yeah, so I think there was only meant to be one creature page. So that second creature page, I think, is the one that was damaged from the previous box. The hourglass appears to have the ability to alter time. It's been known to speed it up, slow it down, or reverse it in some cases, depending obviously on the quality of the conversation. I've, I knew that. I didn't read that one. Pufferfish eyes. Eyes of the pufferfish are an essential ingredient in potion making when brewing up a solution for swelling. Nice. Portrait pin. The brave and courageous professor is the next in our line of our portrait pins. I think that's um, McGonagall. Magical eye. While we hope you may never have a need for a magical eye, this could also come in handy stuck to the door if you're looking for a bit of spying like one of its last owners. That is um, umbrage, right? Restricted section key. This key is used to enter the restricted section in the library. Star chart. The star chart will come in handy atop the tallest tower while mapping the sky in astrology. 11. Valentine postcard. Fill out this postcard and give it back to the, your professor if you would like one of his Valentine cupids to deliver and sing it to your Valentine. Bless. I was going to say, where's the rest of it? But we'll see. 12. Groundskeeper assistant shirt. Oh look, you were selected by the groundskeeper to be his assistant. We hope you don't have any reservations about deep black lakes or a forest that, or a forest that most are forbidden to enter. 13. Vial of memories. These hand-blown vials were created exclusively for us and contained a rather pe peculiar look into the past, September of 1925 to be exact. I'm going to have to look that up because I don't know September of 1925 what that is. Or let me know in the uh, comments if you know what that is. Uh, dueling champion pin. Did you know that one of your professors was dueling champion? If you're looking for some tips and tricks for dueling, we suggest you ask him for help. And that's it. So then we've got the Wizarding Chunk, bi-monthly magic delivery to a doorstep. Pure Blood Apothecary's Deadly Nightshade, available now. Um, 
I might check that out because I don't know if that is actually real or if that's just something cool. Only the purest of potions, further your magical education at Bogmire University of Advanced Magic. So these are like adverts. Next bi monthly theme is herbology. I don't think I've got that. We've got two more boxes, so. Ghost for hire, poltergeist seeking work, be great at eavesdropping, no unfinished business, non-violent, family friendly. Very cool. Well, that is a thumbs up from me. Um, yeah, so tune in for some more unboxing geeky stuff. Um, don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe and hit that all important notification bell so you don't hit this another one of my videos. And until next time, take care and I'll see you later. Bye.